learning how to read a clock is super important, but also super fun. Join Ollie and his friends as they go on an adventure to learn all about reading time. Where will Milotron's holographic program take them? Will Barkley make it back in time for breakfast? Find out the answers in this episode of Ollie Dinosaur. Plus, see if you can spot Ollie's stuffed animal hidden in this episode. Ollie, Ollie Dinosaur! And friends! Telling time. Good morning, Dino Springs. We're here at Milo's lab today for an exciting adventure. And also to eat pancakes. Is it time for breakfast yet? Almost. Let's see what the clock says. This is a digital clock. This part of the clock tells you the hour. And the hour is eight. And this part of the clock tells you the minute. Zero, zero means zero minutes. So it's eight hours and zero minutes. Which makes it eight o'clock. Look, friends, it just turned 801. That means it's eight hours and one minute. Stegerific. Knowing time is super important so that we know when to eat, sleep, wake up, go to school, or be on time at a friend's birthday party. Did I overhear you discussing the concept of time? Time is so incredibly fascinating, and I have just the adventure to learn about time with you. Gather round, friends. Are we going to do that whole hologram thing with Milotron again? Precisely. Milotron, activate hologram module, Time Adventure 2000. Time Adventure 2000, hologram module now activating. Let's start from the beginning. Here we are at 7 o'clock. The sun has just risen. It's morning and most of us are about to wake up from our sleep at this time. 7 o'clock is when the day begins. It's time to brush our teeth, get dressed. And of course, have breakfast. Precisely. Let's fast forward our clock. Wow, Milo! This clock looks different. This, my friends, is an analog clock. Analog clocks can have two or three hands. The hands point to different parts of the clock to tell us what time it is. The small hand tells us what hour it is. Right now, the small hand is pointing at 12. The longer hand tells us what minute it is. Right now, the longer hand is pointing at 1. Every number on the clock equals five minutes. Since we're at the number one, we only need to count five one time. So the minute hand is showing us five minutes. Let's see. Twelve hours and five minutes. The time is 12.05. Lunch time! Oh, diddy. On some analog clocks, you'll also see a long, thinner hand called the second hand. This one moves a lot faster and ticks once every second. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Brachiotastic! Now we're out of school and enjoying this beautiful park. Yes, Sparkly. It's now late afternoon. The day is moving along quickly. And look at the time. Let's figure out what it says. Here, the small hour hand is pointing between two numbers, the three and the four. But which one should we choose? Whenever the hour hand points between two numbers, we always choose the number that just passed. Since clocks move this way, known as clockwise, the hour hand has just passed the three, but hasn't passed the four yet. So, the hour is three. And the longer hand is pointing at the six. If we count by fives six times, we get five, 10, 15, 20, 
25, 30. The minute hand is pointing at 30. The time is 3.30. Or because the minute hand is halfway around the clock, this is sometimes called half past three. We're now back inside the house as the day winds down. The sun is setting and night is upon us. Something smells brachiotastic. That's because it's dinner time. But what time exactly? Oh, 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 let me try. Let's see. The hour hand is pointing between six and seven. Since it just passed the six, but not the seven yet, the hour is six. The minute hand is a bit trickier because it's between two numbers as well. So here's what we'll do. Let's find the number that it just passed. The number three. When we count by fives three times, we get five, 10, 15. Now let's take a closer look at the clock. You see those little lines? Each one of those is one minute. We were at 15, and now we just need to count how many more lines there are. 15, 16, 17. The minute hand is pointing at 17. So the time is 617. Time read amazing. End of the day. The sun has now set and the moon shines upon the night sky. Time to brush and wash up. And time to rest in our comfy beds. Can you see what time it is? The hour hand is pointing between eight and nine. So we choose the eight. Can you tell me where the minute hand is pointing? The closest number that it just passed is a five. So let's count by fives five times. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25. Now let's count the lines. 25, 26, 27, 28. The time is 8.28. Staggerific. adventure we just went on. It's especially amazing because every moment of every day is so unique and special. A day will pass and never come again, so we need to make sure we live in the most staggerific way we can. And spending this morning with my friends is most certainly one of the most ahem, staggerific ways that I can imagine. I couldn't agree more. Now let's eat pancakes. One, two, three, four. Minutes on the thin hand, hours on the thick hand. Time will pass us every day. Here, right now, and gone tomorrow. When a moment comes your way, chase your dreams and joy will follow. Seven is when the day begins. Twelve is the time for and drinks. Bells ring at three and school completes. Moon shines at eight, it's time for sleep. Sixty seconds every minute, sixty minutes every hour. Check the clock and once you've seen it, say the time you've got the power. Time will pass us every day. Here, right now, and gone tomorrow. When a moment comes, Joy will follow. Seven is when the day begins. Twelve is the time for food and drink. Bells ring at three and school completes. Moon shines at eight, it's time for sleep. Don't let the hours pass you by. You'll never know a 
such a staggerific time learning how to read clocks with you today. It's such a wonderful skill to learn and so much fun to do as well. Should we do some practice ones? What time does it say on this digital clock? The time on this clock is 5.45. What time does it say on this analog clock? Our hand on this clock is at seven, and the minute hand is at the four. So let's count by fives four times. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. The time on this clock is seven twenty. Stiggerific. What time does it say on your clock at home? Whatever time it says, I hope that I can see you again soon. Bye for now. Thanks for digging into knowledge with this episode of Ollie Dinosaur. Be sure to check out our other videos with more coming soon. And if you like this episode, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Have a stegorific day.